Hi, I hope this finds you well. I wanted to share something with you that struck me out of Father Spencer's sermon, which if you've not listened to it, I really commend that to you. It's on our website as well as our phone app and is well worth the listen. Father Spencer was talking about the need to give, but not just giving in some way that we go through motions, but giving in a way that engages our hearts. And he talked about how even in the liturgy, we need to make sure that we focus and that we keep our hearts engaged. And it reminded me of something that was said to me in youth group when I was in my teenage years. This youth leader said, you're going to get out of it what you put into it well-known phrase and certainly applies to the whole of our lives. But his point was that when it comes to your experience of worship, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. And if you come with a distracted heart, you're not going to get a lot out of it. If you come expecting it to somehow captivate you and do all the work, you may not get much out of it. But if you come prepared to put a lot into it, you'll always get a lot out of it. Father Spencer touched on Psalm 51. I'll read a portion of that for you. It says, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. And so the point he said was not that God doesn't want sacrifice, it's that he wasn't pleased with their sacrifices because they came with empty hearts. They came with a heart not engaged. It was a going through the motions. So God is pleased with the sacrifice of a broken and contrite heart, a heart that is given over to him. You get out of it what you put into it. And if you put your heart into the experience of worship, you will always get so much out of it. And that is a challenging thing to hear, I think, in our consumer culture where we really tend to treat almost anything as entertainment. It needs to capture our attention. It needs to do all the work. What I would suggest to you is that that's not what liturgy is really all about. As Father Spencer also noted the word liturgy itself simply means the work of the people. See, when we gather in worship, it's not about the experience we have. It is about the work that we give to the Lord. We come to worship not so much to get something from him as to give him something, knowing that as we give him something, we will always get something from him. That's the way God's economy works. When we give ourselves to him, we always receive from him. And so when we come to offer the work of the people, it's not meant to be an entertainment spectator sport. It's meant to be the offering of our hearts, our whole selves to the Lord as a living and acceptable sacrifice. You get out of it what you put into it. I want to encourage you to think on that and to pray on that this week and to ask yourself, what do I put into my experience of worship? Am I giving myself to the Lord as we come together, or am I coming just to get from Him? And again, it's not that we don't want things from the Lord or that wanting something from Him is bad. Those things are good, and God knows what we need. But when we come to worship, our primary goal is to give ourselves as a living sacrifice to Him, the work of the people. And the more we remember that, and the more we're willing to pour into that, the more, I promise you, you will experience in worship. The more you put into it, the more you will find that you are being blessed by it. So think on that and pray on that, and I'm praying for you. And I look forward to seeing you as we gather together soon to offer the work of the people.